just relentless. It's all, it's either up or down all the way and it's really, really steep. It's quite painful, but I took a couple of ibuprofen. It's really a tough day and one where you wish you would have stayed in the tent. I just felt like I needed to rest for a bit and not push through again. I have seen more rain than on the entire hike so far. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Hi, my name is Ellie. I'm a long distance hiker and backpacker. With my rescue dog Otto, I'm currently hiking the length of Britain from Scotland to Cornwall. Come along for days 77 to 79, where we hiked another section of the Offa Stike path from Mellington Hall to Knighton, from Knighton to Kington and on to Hay on Wye. This is very steep. Oh. Good morning, everyone. It's a new day. As you can see, it's quite sunny. We've already been hiking for a bit over two hours and we are on the notorious section from uh, Brompton to Knighton, which is yeah quite famous for its uh, switchbacks. So it's a lot of very steep climbs and very steep drops. And yeah, it's just relentless. It's all, it's either up or down all the way and it's really, really steep. So it's kind of slow going and pretty tough. It's supposed to be the hardest stretch on Offa's Dyke. I have still quite a bit of uh, pain in my lower back and upper leg bottom area. I don't know. It's quite painful but I took a couple of ibuprofen so it's it's okay now. And we are on our, I think, fifth very steep climb. Whew, it's really a tough day. Oh. Ooh, look at that. That's our first real sighting of of a stike. I read in the guidebook that this uh, spot here is a really good place to actually see it. More or less a <laughs> a ditch <laughs> basically but it's really I can really see it like in the landscape as a feature. It's so interesting to see that it's been there for yeah over 1200 years and you can still see it even though it's just like a wall made of yeah, like grass and a bit of stones and sand, basically. Ah, oh, that's so cool. This is climb number seven coming up. Ooh. But I think that's the last one for today. <laughs> Only half a mile to get to Knighton. Yay! We are in Wales again. <laughs> Yesterday we had a pretty long and tough day and by the end I was in quite a bit of pain like yeah my bottom or yeah lower back I don't know exactly what or the hip um, yeah hurt quite a bit 
and we knew that the forecast for today was basically shit. <laughs> Instead of uh, stopping in Knighton where we uh, hiked to, we took the bus and went to Kington which is which would be our next stretch and set up the tent just to give us the option of not having to pack up um, a wet tent um, in the morning and just to give us a little bit of a of an easier day with um, no uh, backpacks on them. Today our plan was to go um, back um, with a bus tonight and, and then walk basically back to Kington um, for that stretch. And now it's half eight in the morning and as you can see it's really really wet. Which is why we've decided to take a zero day today because yeah, again, if you're out for a couple of months hiking, you can't always like push through. Um, I've had some horrible weather this week and it was so hard in some points and now even more with the like pain in my back. I just felt like I needed to rest for a bit and not push through again. Besides, there's there are no views at all. I think it's way too beautiful to just like put your head down and just walk these 16, 15, 16 miles. The rain's supposed to last like basically the whole day. I think hiking is more than just pushing through. There are certainly times where you where it's um, also a cool experience to um, to push through and to yeah to to overcome these difficult moments. But I don't think that hiking always has to be like that. Our plan is a uh, rest day today and then hopefully uh, tomorrow my pain is better. And good morning everyone. <laughs> it's a new day and we were so happy that we didn't hike yesterday because it rained so much that would have easily been the wettest day by far of the entire hike. We just spent the time in a cafe and in the tent and yeah, did some editing and yeah, just happy that we weren't out uh, on the hills yesterday. And now we're getting ready to hike the missing stretch from Knighton to back here to Kington. So let's go! There's a rainbow! Good morning! We went back to Knighton by bus and started walking and as you can see it's really wet <laughs> again. We had like sun and rain and wind in the first 20 minutes. So yeah, I think it's gonna be another <laughs> <laughs> tough day probably one of those days where you just put your head down and yeah just do the miles to have that stretch done it is what it is it has been a pretty hard week since I started the offer stike path the weather is yeah uh, not great but at least I'm not alone which is great to have some company and just to talk for a bit and I'm really happy uh, once you have that stretch done today. It's not too long, I think it's only about 14 miles. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Uh. Yeah, weather is horrible. 
easy. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be the same achievement in the end. This looks so cute and that's a perfect spot for a break and there's even a kettle in there which would have been so amazing to have some tea but they ran out of tea ah, that's a shame <laughs> that would have been so great to have a tea because we're still so soaked but we have some cookies instead. <laughs> I've read inside that apparently even more special than the church, which is uh, very pretty, is uh, that tree. It's a yew and apparently it, c it could be um, almost 5,000 years old, which is <laughs> really mind blowing. So, I mean, you can see it's a really old tree, but yeah, it's so, so amazing to think about it that it probably has been there for thousands of years it's such a cool place we are back on the campsite in Kington <laughs> it's our third night here uh, we walked from uh, Knighton to Kington today and yeah it's been a really shitty day <laughs> i just didn't feel great it was so wet and it was so hard going and yeah i don't know it just wasn't a great day and i struggled quite a bit this past week has been so wet i think i have seen more rain than on the entire hike so far and we've been out for yeah over three months so Hopefully it's gonna get better tomorrow. We're gonna enjoy our coffee now and just uh, have a little rest and then early bedtime to have an early start tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see you then. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and as you can see finally it doesn't rain which is great, it's yeah, pretty nice, it's a bit windy and overcast but perfect for hiking. I'm feeling a bit better but I'm still having quite a bit of pain in my lower back area so yeah, I don't know. It got a bit better with with uh, stretching, but still, yeah. I think I need to take a couple of rest days. Uh, once I'm in Bristol, in a few days, we have a shorter day today. I think it's only about 14 miles to get to Hay on Y, and we're both really excited because there are a lot of bookshops there and old bookshops, and yeah, we're trying to get there early before the shops close to yeah have a look around so let's go the views are amazing look at that
we made it to new church and apparently the church is open for hikers. Ooh, look at that. That's such a cute place. And there's tea and coffee and juice and snacks. Campsite in Heon Wai. It's only 4 pm, so we're gonna go down there and check out the city. This is Heon Wai, a cute little town that's famous for its bookshops because there are over 20, I think, uh, bookshops and second-hand bookshops, which makes it UK's book town. 